Hello and welcome to the new edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to solve the Times Cryptic Crossword together. Um, we've done this a couple of times before, uh, so without further ado, just make sure uh, I'd recommend anyway that you use the pause button um, whenever possible. Oops, this size of the window is a little wrong here, but uh, never mind, you have to forgive that. So, nicking stuff including key dairy product. Okay, so the definition here is dairy product. Uh, you need a word for nicking, as in stealing in this case, uh, and then a four letter word for stuff, which needs to include um, a key, and key in crosswords is very often one of the musical keys. So. Uh, a, B, C, D, E, F, or G. Um, so pause the video. And the answer is... Oh! <laughs> going across. Uh, Whipping cream. So cram for stuff. Um, let's have a look at... Okay, we'll have a look at this. Required funds were used to clothe her as well. Okay, so the definition here is required funds. And then the word play breaks down as the word we around the word her. So that's what clothe is getting at there. So that gives you the start. I'm not going to insult anyone's intelligence by we can put that in. And then we need a word that means as well um, to give the whole thing, which means required funds. So let's pause the video. It's a slightly old word. Oh dear. I just paused this video, which I didn't mean to do. There we go. Wherewithal. Okay, two down. State of house at foot of Cretan Mountain. Uh, one thing I'll just mention here is the use of the word of in this clue as a link word between the definition, which is state, um, and the word play. Now there are some people who don't like the use of of as a link word. It's certainly I don't think it's accepted in the listener, which is sort of you know a real stickler for how you should break down uh, or, or how you should link. Um, definitions and wordplay. You can have nothing between the definition and the wordplay, or you can have a word like, uh, if you reverse this clue and said, house at foot of Cretan Mountain, it but gives state. Then it's an instruction and gives would be fine. And so the question is whether of is an acceptable link word here, because you're creating the state out of the wordplay. Um, I'm not massively against it, but I have, uh, when I've been setting crosswords, been hauled over the coals for using of as a link word. Um, but it's worth remembering, of can be a link word in the Times crossword. All of which is a long way of uh, staying what we need to about this clue. So we need a three letter Cretan Mountain, and then one of the, uh, or the abbreviation for house, which is HO. Um, and you can see, hopefully, from the words at foot of that we need to put the HO at the bottom. So pause. The answer is IO. So we have eight across. Hard time to be an Olympian queen. Okay, well, this is the name of an Olympian queen. Hard, very often abbreviated to H in crosswords. Um, and so you need a three letter word for time. And the answer is Hera. Okay, uh, I'll come back to three down. That's one of the most difficult answers in this in this crossword. Um, I think I solved this one earlier today. So we should have another look at something else. Let's have a look at uh, four down. Yeah, most. Okay, so most dexterous action initially in Newcastle match. Now, Newcastle, when you see references to Newcastle or Tyneside or, you know, um, very often the clue will contain 
well the answer will contain the letters NE for northeast. So it's a sort of crossword slang for re referring to the northeast. So looking at this, we've got the definition is most dexterous. Uh, an action initially is getting at the letter A, i.e. the initial letter of action. And we need to put an A in any plus a four letter word for a match. Uh, you might want to think cricket in this context. Um, so pause the video. The answer is just apologies if you can hear some background noise. It's the baby monitor. Um, so hopefully that's not too distracting. Um, okay, uh, a word not everyone might be familiar with here. So it's um, a five letter word that means claw. And then we've got another cricket bit. So we've got court there, which as we've talked about before is C. Husband, abbreviated to H. So we've got CH and then getting a three letter word for a drink reversed. So uh, there's only two or three three letter words I can think of for a drink. Um, so you might be able to work this out even if you haven't seen this word before. So pause. Not so this sheller. That might not be how you pronounce it, but that's that's how I think of it in my mind. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm gonna put this one. Legion sending off its last soldier. Okay, so the definition here is soldier, and we need a word that means legion, where we're going to remove the last letter. And one of the things that is nice about this clue is that legion, obviously the, the word, the surface of this clue is making you think about armies and you know military legions. Whereas legion is a word that can also mean um, you know a great quantity of something. So and it's it's that version of the definition that you need to, to think about. Uh, so pause the video. The answer is man, many without its last letter. Uh, okay, let's build up to so, so ten across, turning tail, eager to secure pink fuel. Okay, so again hopefully you're getting better now at um, dividing up definitions and wordplay um, and the words to secure in the middle of the clue should be pointing you in the direction of okay I need a, I need a word for eager with the ending reversed and that's a four letter word for eager and I need to secure I need to put that around the outside of a four letter word that means pink and the whole thing means fuel so pause. Kerosene is the answer to that one. Okay, let's have a look at this one. A poet receiving oxygen on a train, perhaps. So this is um, the definition here is on a train, perhaps. And you need to think of so the A you can see is actually this A. So and we need a four-letter word for a poet. Um, and we need to put that around the outside of the letter O being the chemical element abbreviation for oxygen. So pause. The answer is board. Okay. Alright, so way universities go about presenting language. Okay, so university is very often abbreviated to U. We sometimes see uni as well for university, but, but it can be you. And here we've got the plural, universities. So we might well need two letter U's, and we need to put an abbreviation for a way on the inside of those two U's. So there probably aren't too many words you can think of that are U blank blank U, um, and it means a language. And the answer is so RD for road there. Okay, let's carry on. Um, uh, this this was my last answer in actually, so come back to that one I think. Okay, e.g. Melbourne School briefly associated with West. 
Um, so the definition here is e.g. Melbourne. So it's something uh, that Melbourne was an example of. Um, now and we need a a four letter word for a school and that needs to follow an abbreviation for west so w so we can put the w in we need a four letter word for a school which is going to be shortened so that's what briefly is getting at there um, so pause and the answer is weak Lord Melbourne, I think, was a was a week um, a long time ago. Okay, right. Let's look at fourteen down. It's another interesting, quite an old word. Um, so its uh, definition here is chimney corner. Now, some people, I think, will just know, know a nine-letter word that means this and be able to write it in. But for those that don't, we need to, we need to work on the wordplay. So what we need to do is to come up with a, a word for visiting, followed by a two-letter word, a short word, um, and then a four-letter word for a valley. I mean, th I think what the cassette is getting at here, where he says visiting valley question mark. If you were visiting a valley, you would be in, and then a four-letter word for a valley. So we can put that in. We now need a four-letter word for a valley, and now find to gather round. So you need an, a, a common abbreviation that means fine. So if you're fine, you are. And then this abbreviation, and we need to put that around the edge of an O. So, pause, and the answer is Inglenook. Um, okay, I think we won't go too much further today because I think that, you know, again, we do want to keep the videos a reasonable length so that they're sort of consumable in bite sized chunks. I'm just going to have a flick through and just have a look at some of the other clues just to to see if there's anything particularly interesting um, that I'll mention. I'll mention this clue just because it will help you if you if you haven't got 27 across. Um, there is a word for a sandpiper, a type of sandpiper which is uh, a knot, which is K-N-O-T. Um, so you can see by the sound of it uh, we need something that sounds like uh, knot, which means something other than so hopefully you can immediately see that's going to be not but that's a, that's a pretty difficult clue if you aren't familiar with uh, that word for a sandpiper um, let's see if there's anything else that I'll, I should mention I, I don't think so there's a hidden there we still it's still to be discovered um, and other than that as I say the tricky the trickiest two answers I think are 13 across and three down um, but if you manage to work and get the checking letters you should be able to have a very good guess at both of them and I wish you luck with that let us know how you get on and we'll see you again tomorrow